what is up guys Killer Kevin and today on this build we are going to be doing a double decker bus this build is freaking amazing and you can change it to whatever you like personally what I mean by that is the block color so for us I'm going to be using a sort of a light blade a light blade a light blue clay wall uh, uh, stained clay sorry uh, you can use walls that's what I was gonna say bricks stones you can use freaking anything on this build but remember not to use anything on top that corresponds to the bottom which is gonna be a white or an iron so for our white iron we're gonna be using quartz as you can tell so give you a rundown of the whole color that you can need any particular block that you like for us we're gonna use a light blue clay and then after that we're gonna use a black wall we're gonna be using a quartz slab a button an iron door to obviously correspond to the white if you're obviously going to change your whites to browns then obviously it needs to be a brown door we're going to use glass obviously we use item frame very few of these probably two using a primary white block which is a four block in total and obviously you're going to need sort of sort of yellow or gold and you're only going to need two blocks of these just to do the front headlights anyway there's one more block after that but that's only in detail and i'll explain what that is later on so what you're going to be doing is placing anywhere where you want a black block and after that follow that you need to put a button on the side to make it officially a wheel switch back to your white slab whatever you may be using and just put one on either side just for a reference point like so so as you can tell we've got something that looks like this on top of the wheel you want to place your door this needs to be not inwards like if i can get it not like uh like this side Please do not place like this, it needs to be outside like so. So once you have done that, you're going to put your primary block, your blue block, either side, like so. Then after that, you want to put your glass blocks on top of the blue blocks, like so. One, two. This side's going to carry on to two, so exactly the same thing on this side. Blue block, over. Blue block's going to come up and surround this glass on the left here. Then after that, you probably want to come an extra, depends it's entirely up to you, I'm going to come four in total along one two three four and after that i'm going to come back underneath and i'm going to put my blue underneath all these glass blocks I should have something that looks like this after you've done that again it's a door next to it if you can if you can't then you probably don't wait for your slabs so let's do our slabs all the way under it's a little bit tricky so there we go so obviously you want your door here, move this one, put a black block, your door here, like so, so you've got double door, which looks something similar to like this, and again, make sure to put a button near the door as well for your wheel. So once you've done that, pretty simple and easy, all you have to do after that is come along an extra couple of blue, so we're going to come along one, two, three, like so, after you've done that, again, nice and easy. A black block just on the second one under below like so just to make sure a little bit of support on the back wheel like so and obviously underneath between these needs to be your quartz slabs like that right now here comes the interesting part we just need to finish off the glass and then we'll do the second layer so again a glass next to the obviously door on the left and a blue block and a glass because this is going to be the back it's going to roll around the same as the front here just change the weather for you guys so now we're at the front here, after that you want to come along and just come along an extra two windows, so three in total. And not You don't want to carry three along like blue like this, if you are going to, make sure to remove the middle one and make sure it is black like so. With this black wall here, again, you just need your slabs just to run underneath all the way along. Right, so this black one here, we're going to put a sign on here eventually, which is the other block I was talking about. The other side then, these ones here, we're actually going to put our item frames like so and there we go pretty simple what you basically want to do is mimic the exact same side as well so again just want to come along with our flax here and put our door on the side like so and we're going to put the easiest way is probably just to bring it over to begin with like so and we're basically going to mimic the exact same side nothing too crazy on the but so for a build like this, just mimicking two sides and then connecting them. It's not too bad. Obviously if you're on creative you can sort of just muck around and obviously use as many blocks as you want, but if you're using this on survival, then uh, you're going to be very limited on what you can do prior to that. So there we go. Obviously this one's going to connect as well, like so. Back end as well, you can get creative if you like. Just bridge it along like so. 
sure you put your buttons on your wheels. And there we go, there is the first layer to the bus in general. Now, if you want to just have a normal bus like so, you can just bridge it over and make sure there's a little bit of fancy routing. But this is a double decker bus, so we're gonna be building another layer. Pretty simple, what we're gonna be doing is wrapping a blue all the way around. So, or whatever block that you're using. So we're gonna go all the way along, like so. Don't fill this up, as in fill it up, as in like this. Obviously, if you want it functioning on a server or you want to use it or something, then you can uh, do it like that. We're obviously going to fill the sort of section in here purely on the fact of you can walk in it. Something like this. Obviously, underneath it looks something different, but obviously, once you're in it, it's much more better. So, again, after this, exact same pattern on this side as well as underneath, apart from with no doors, so we're obviously going to be having a lot more windows. It's pretty much just following the pattern all the way around, just taking the doors out and then replacing it for glass. Obviously these stems here carry on all the way up to the top. Like so, so once we've done that, it's pretty much easy now. All we have to do is conclude or conclose. All of this, and you can make it a high roof or a flat roof. I'm going to make it pretty much flat roof. I don't want it too high. I'm just going to grab our slabs and work in with the top. Like so, all the way along. And obviously, this middle stretch here is literally just going to be the standard uh, white block or whatever preference block you're using for your white. It's going to sit snug like so. And pretty much we're almost there. So, yeah, there is the double decker bus. Obviously, if you want to swing around to the back some headlamps on the back, that's cool. Obviously we're going to grab our sign now. As we're in Europe we need number plates from front and back. Let's put one there. You can personalise those number plates to whatever you like. I'm not going to there. So uh, yeah, there we go. There is the Double Decker Bus. Guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to hit me up with a like and a comment. But until the next time guys, actually, before we end it, we're just going to fill this section in as well. We are going to disclose this. And obviously if you want to have a particular bit coming all the way up, then uh, you can make a ladder system, or even an actual stair system, like buses normally do. But it's entirely up to you guys, it's your build. But yeah, there we go, looking pretty damn swank. So guys, until the next time, get a get there, and get a get out.